Today we're going to discuss how to increase your movement and daily step count over the winter months. If you're living in Ireland or somewhere where it gets miserable, wet, cold and rainy in October, November, December, January, February, March, sometimes even April, uh, it can be very hard to keep your step count up. So we're just going to discuss a few ways that you can keep your movement up. And look, this is mainly in relation to people who are trying to lose body fat. If you're not trying to lose body fat at the moment, you should not get your steps in. It is what it is. But this is for those that rely on, you know, high activity levels to help improve their rates of fat loss. First thing is spread your target throughout the day. If you're somebody who likes to get all your steps done in one part of the day, in the morning or the evening, you're missing a trick. Break it up. I know it's easier said than done to get up away from the computer during working hours, but try. Five minute walk and talk meeting, walk around the block. If you're going to grab lunch in a shop, go to the shop that's further away. You'll be surprised how many steps you can rack up throughout the day if you're just breaking it into smaller chunks, a thousand steps here or there. Second thing you can do, Add cardio into the end of your weight training sessions. If it's just cold, wet, miserable, and rainy, you're not going out to do your steps. It's not going to happen. So, well, actually, you can go out and get some rain gear and look, fire ahead. But living in the real world here, if that's not going to happen, you can add cardio into the end of your weight training sessions. Say your session is 45 minutes, you can jump up onto the treadmill, throw it up onto an incline, and get walking for 15 minutes. That will most certainly bump up your step count. And actually, let's say. A thousand steps on the flat is not going to be the same as a thousand steps on the incline. They don't have exact numbers, but if you throw it up onto an incline, you can actually get a higher calorie burn than you would uh, if you were just walking on the flat. So you can definitely do that for 15 odd minutes after your sessions a couple of times per week. It will add up. Third thing that you could potentially do is buy a walking pad, which is essentially just a small treadmill. You can see this one up in the top right corner. Super cheap and super handy. Costs about 150 euros maybe. And I'm sure you can pay whatever you want for it, but about 150 quid. And you can throw that under the desk if you want to uh, be walking while you're typing buttons on the computer. If you want to just do it in the evening time and you're watching some TV, these things are super portable. You can literally pick them up, put it wherever you want, and you can even store it in, uh, you know, into the closet or something like that. So it could be a really handy option. If you don't want to do that, you can grab a stationary bike. You can pick up a fairly cheap stationary bike in Elvries or something like that for 100, 150 quid. It doesn't have to be anything that's super expensive like a Peloton. And you can just cycle away while you're watching TV in the evenings. Next thing you can do is have high and low step days. You know, if you just are not going to be able to get your steps in Monday through to Friday, you can absolutely plan for two higher days. Organize a hike on a Saturday or just make it your mission to really bump up your step count on the weekends. Fifth thing you can do, if it's not happening, you know, if your planned step count is 10,000 steps per day and you're like hitting 5,000 steps per day, it's going to be quite a significant uh, decrease in calories burned throughout the week. But that doesn't mean that you can't still see the same rates of fat loss because you could just bump or not bump but you could drop your calorie intake down by the same amount of calories that you're no longer burning so let's just say you went from 10,000 steps per day seven days of the week down to 5,000 steps per day that might be you were burning 1500 calories a week on the 10,000 steps you're now burning 750 calories on the 5,000 steps you could just drop your calorie intake down by 100 calories a day over seven days is the 700 calories that's totally fine nothing wrong with that whatsoever now the last thing a lot of people think about this one is you just don't do it just accept that your rates of fat loss are going to be slower and if you are watching this on your way into christmas you can be rest assured your fat loss rates are going to be slower it is what it is the social events coming up parties shindigs you know good crack with the family all that sort of stuff no matter what way you look at this your rates of fat loss are going to slow down so don't overly stress about it. If you can put these things into place, do. That walking pad is fantastic. And I know a lot of people that really love it, but it's not gonna happen. Just accept rates of fat loss are gonna be slower for a while. Totally fine. It is what it is. You're moving in the right direction. Now that's it for me. If you have any questions or queries, or you need a link to pick up one of these walking pads, just let myself know or any member of the team, and we'll uh, shoot you over our recommendation. Thanks for listening, and I shall see you in the next one.